Ruth, welcome everybody. We're glad you could join us, as well as committee members. Okay, I hear no citizen comments, so we're going to move on. Uh, number three on our agenda is committee applications for the year 22 or 2021, and they are out. They're online and can be filled out online, or you can make a hard copy, drop them off at City Hall or over at Public Works, or you can um, mail them in. Right, Sylvia? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do we have a deadline on those? We do. It's uh, November the 13th, which is two weeks from, actually, it is next Friday. Okay. So deadline is next Friday. Um, we would like everybody to prayerfully consider re-upping, as I call it in the military, for another term. And uh, there's lots of good things happening. So let's keep the the wheels going. How's that sound? So, so everybody, um, yeah, go yes, ahead. The important thing for the committee applications is this year um, will require a, a separate application for each committee, and that is to help the committee chairs in their decision and their assignments. Um, we had a lot of committees have some confusion last year, and apparently every year, folks put on their second and third and fourth choice, and the committee chairs feel almost an obligation to let everybody participate. So. Um, separate applications will help the committee chairs understand who's who and on what and if they really want to be on the committee so they can have that one on one. Okay. Now, does that mean then that you have to do an application for each committee you want to yes. be on? Okay. Yes. So yes. does the chairman then know that um, Penny Seed has applied for CED and finance yes. and mm -hmm. public works? So they'd have that picture and they'd have choice one, two, and three? as yes. well, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And then so, the other thing um, that's different with the committees this year is um, there's going to be uh, two requirements on the committee applications. One, that everybody everybody do the um, uh, Open Meetings Act, open gov. which is pretty standard. And then um, that we do an Open Gov as we try to move toward um, using more of open gov and this committee has already started to do that with the economic development page um we just got to start moving more in that direction right right and the open meeting is a couple of hour session but it gives you a bunch of guidelines and how you can meet federal regulations on not being out of compliance with the way we need to run our meetings. And so that is something, as soon as I found out that it was available to everyone, I went on and got it and I recommend everybody. And now it's necessary, so that's a good thing. It's so Ruth has piece. her hand up. Okay, Ruth, Thank would you. you like the floor? Yes, I just wanted to ask Sylvia if, um, I'm sorry, I went, I, Got my mind off track because I had my hands <laughs> off. Well, it was an important question too. It had to do with the applications. Uh -huh. um, oh dang! I guess I'll text you, Sylvia. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. So the deadline had been the 13th because the council gets sworn in on the 17th, and that gives the council some time to um, review the applications and kind of get a feel for what's what. We were aiming for the retreat the, that week, um, but it looks like we're going to end up pushing that to the first week of December. So committee assignments will happen in December. That's, that's okay. Oh, yeah. I remembered my question. Okay, the, please. The go. open the open uh, meetings training. Once we take it, is that good for life, or do we have to take it again every year? I think it's good for two years. I will double check that. Yeah, because they changed the rules, so it would have to be periodically updated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on that? Okay. If not, let's move on. Uh, number four on our agenda is approval of minutes from the July 29th meeting. And we had those out to everyone. And then also Sylvia had them up. Do you want, did everybody get a copy and have a chance to read them? Okay, I will assume if I didn't hear a negative that we've all had a chance to read them. Do we have any uh, changes or corrections? If not, can I have a motion to accept 
the minutes as uh, drafted and proposed. I shall move, Sandy. Okay, Sandy, motion, second. I second, Karen. Second by Karen. Okay. Um, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, same. Okay, minutes have been accepted. Thank you, everyone. Approved. Okay, um, next is our council liaison report. Phil, you have the floor. Thank you, thank you, Penny. Um, it doesn't seem that long ago we were doing this. Um, was it two weeks ago, I think? So I'm trying to recap recap what happened between then and now. Uh, two things I'd like to talk about. Um, last Friday, um, there was a special call session of council that went into executive session. And as a result of that executive session, there was a motion approved unanimously by council uh, to instruct Sylvia to go ahead and make an offer to uh, a public works, the, the, the public works director and they, uh, the interview committee had uh, ranked uh, the various candidates one through four, I think, wasn't it, Sylvia, if I'm not mistaken? Correct. Correct. And the, the motion was to go ahead and uh, for Sylvia to um, uh, offer uh, employment to number one candidate. And if that, uh, for any reason, did not work out, then to move on to number two. An offer was made to the number one candidate. Um, didn't transpire um, because of uh, salary discussions. And so with that, Sylvia has now moved on, made an offer to the number two candidate, and we have a verbal acceptance from that individual, which I think is very positive news. Um, and, and the second thing uh, that's transpired, as you know, um, previous council meet, not previous one, but the one before that, a motion was approved to go ahead and start preliminary work on p potential uses of the homestead. Uh, three things um, were to be done. One was uh, uh, to do the environmental study of what could and could not be done with that piece of property. Uh, the second one was then a legal study of what legally could be done in terms of the, the restrictions on that piece of property. And thirdly, hopefully to end out, end out with a, 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 an artistic, a very rough artistic rendering of some of the thoughts that could be done with that so it could be circulated to uh, the ver to residents and the various committees, um, we we talked to one company that we thought w would do it. Their their response was not good in all uh, in all candidness, and since then we have found out. And Sylvia has been very diligent in pursuing this uh, environmental work with our uh, existing uh, engineering firm, and they do have a um, environmental group. So at this stage, the, uh, that portion, uh, that uh, part of the engineering group will be tasked with doing the preliminary environmental work on the homestead. So thank you, Sylvia, for the effort you put into that. And uh, hopefully this can continue to move along. Very good. Okay, you, any Penny. questions for Phil? Thank you, Phil, very much. You keep us abreast of what goes on. Okay. Next item is our marketing update from the city administrator. Sylvia, you have the floor. So uh, the marketing company sent out a marketing questionnaire to the council. The goal had been for um, the council members to um, collaborate and put their uh, questions together. The questions were really all over the place and so we took the time uh, at the last council meeting and went through the responses and really what are some expectations. There is a plan to have another um, meeting with the marketing company because the council has asked for you know let, let's let's get a move on. <laughs> um, and so in your report or on the link uh, for the agenda, these are live links. You, you can see what information we provided to, um, to the marketing firm. Uh, there's been a little bit of discussion on, on how prepared uh, they are, how prepared we are. And I think really the reality is COVID has hit us all in just a weird way. I think some of us expected retail to be uh, a lot worse than it is me for example 
Um, and it, it continues to decline. It's just not happening at such a rapid decline. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I had hoped that we had seen a trough that would start, you know, picking up. But it's it's doing the same thing to the data collection for the marketing firm. So um, things aren't moving as fast as we would like, but they are still moving, and they still expect the goal to be um, to have the first ad campaign for the spring. Okay. Okay. Any questions for Sylvia? I do. Oops. Okay. And who is I do? I'm sorry. Right. Ruth, okay, Ruth, you have the floor. Um, this is actually when Phil was speaking when I raised my hand, but Sylvia oh. can answer it. Um, when she was able to go get uh, our original uh, firm to... Ruth, you went away. Was ...caught with their mic on. Oh, uh-huh. Um, was that the same firm that got caught with their mic on or a different one? Just wondering. It's a it's a different firm. So the firm that had okay. their uh, was dismissed as the city engineer. We've since hired a uh, different city engineer, and we're doing things a little bit different with them. We are handling things on task order as opposed to just like a general umbrella, and that allows us to keep a, a lid on costs and know exactly what they're working on. Wonderful. I figured, but I just wanted to clarify. Uh -huh. Thank you. No, it's a good point. Point made. Yes. Yeah, they are gone. So, okay. And I'm sorry, I don't see the chat stuff when people put their hands up. So I guess... I'll let you know. I, okay, thank you. All right. Um, next thing then, any other questions on the marketing update? We um, Is that on, that's on the website and we yes. can get... Okay, okay, good. It's um, right. every every one of the um, the links is a hyperlink, and then the report itself has all of the council members' responses in it. So um, you can you can see what the council's thoughts were in terms of what concerns are, et cetera, et cetera. And they do plan to have a um, a community meeting at some point. I think they wanted to get the the um, the ball rolling with the council, and then as we move forward, have some more community engagement. Okay. Okay. And so let me clarify for my sake, as well as everybody else's, um, we are not doing anything for the Christmas season, correct? That's correct. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's move on then. Number seven is economic development update and how are we doing in response to, you know, marketing shares, our tax base, our revenue stream, that sort of thing. So uh, sales tax, I, again, this is all open gov, so I, I'm going to call this CED's open gov page. Um, so it's between this one and the um, some of the newsletter links. So what Matt has done is um, he's linked the, uh, the new sales tax report, and every month we'll do that. And as you can see, we continue to have a, uh, we continue to have a decline. We did start new because we are in a new fiscal year. Um, and for the month we were, you know, down again. And you can you can see the trend if you were to draw a line where we're still mm -hmm. continuing to go down, which okay. for me again is you can see the numbers just we're on the downward trend and I don't know when we're gonna reach the trough. Yeah. Um, yeah. the hotel has uh, told us that business is improving. They have uh, paid their hot fund. Uh, they are still in arrears with the uh, water that they owe uh, the city. So we're going to, you know, be pushing on some of that to hopefully get that caught up because at this point it's over $40,000 and um, they are receptive. Um, so they're not, you know, they're not trying to shy away from what they owe. It's just, again, things, things are getting difficult and how soon can they pay it is, is um, unknown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, it's interesting because uh, we've been going by there and you do see they're fuller and fuller parking uh -huh. in the parking lot. So that's good news. Yep. And then in terms of um, the city's retail status, so this is still linked uh, to the mayor's dashboard. However, um, Rudy has shared some information with us that I think we will end up sharing with the committee once it's completely verified. There's a lot of uh, notice of intent and that's notice of intent of either lease or leave the lease. Um, we know Kohl's is a question now, and um, 
you know, just bigger picture continues to not look as bright and sunny as perhaps we had all hoped by this point of turning the COVID corner. Mm -hmm. uh, Clayton's arrived. He says, sorry, I'm late. Oh, good. Okay. Uh huh. And then um, what's happening around us is really what, what we hear from the, um, from the city of Austin and Austin's economic development. And we have all of the links for um, uh, Austin's chamber. And then for us, um, we did receive about $37,000 in uh, coronavirus funds from Travis County for small cities. Um, we did submit, we had about uh, a little under $12,000 in um, actual hard expenses and then we were able to submit the other $26,000 of um, expenses for things that we're going to need should COVID continue, like computers that folks are able to work at home, um, temperature scanners, um, the things that are going to keep us in business as we continue to still need to operate through. Okay, all of so most of that amount that we've been given has been earmarked already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, any other questions on the economic status, the engine renewal or stops? We don't know yet, yeah. And uh, I think until we're certain what's gonna go with the virus, the coronavirus and the flu for the winter, this is gonna be a huge thing. It's still, it's got a lot of folks uh, worried. Okay. Ruth has and, her hand up. Okay, Ruth, good, you, I can hey. see you too. <laughs> Matt, is he on the call? No. no. Just He's on vacation. He's on vacation in Colorado. Oh, that's right. That's right. He said that at the Art Commission meeting. So you're the only staff member on the phone call right now or on the meeting? I am. Well, you get to receive all the kudos then. I spent lots of time yesterday combing through that website and all the information and the links and looking at all the through the links. I'm like, hot dang. I was yeah, really impressed right? with y'all. Good job. No, this is, yeah, Matt deserves all of the credit. This is way so cool. Transmission. Um, this is where we are going to take OpenGov. And, and the whole purpose of OpenGov and transparency is to let you take a sneak peek, right, of what's going on. And so, as we begin to get better in our, um, we just finished the migration from our internal software system that we call MIP. We just finished that automatic migration into OpenGov. So now, um, hopefully next month, the sales tax reports are going to be um, automated and you can click through them and be able to see, you know, drill down really deep into the data the way you can do in the budget. Um, and it's real time information as we receive it and it's entered. So. We're, we're getting good. better and better. Stunning. Stunning Sylvia? work, y'all. Good job. Thanks. Sylvia, the Clayton, can you hear me? Yes. Can I make a suggestion if you also add that uh, web page that was put together to show all of the restaurants and shops in Sunset Valley? Uh, maybe just put that link on the same web page? Oh, sure, sure. Um, that's going to be, that's, um, is that Catherine's link or, or what, uh, I can't remember exactly who made that web page. I think that was Catherine Johnson. I'll, I'll have to ask her. Okay. Good idea. Thanks Clayton. Okay. Any other thoughts, proposals, friendly suggestions? <laughs> Okay. And, and also, I'm going to mirror what, what Ruth just said. Is I think this is a great website. I saw it when you all came up with it, and it's really nice. Good. And it's just going to get better. Mm -hmm. This is us crawling. Wait till we run. <laughs> We're going to need bikes to keep up with you, right? <laughs> well, really, truly, but this is why part of the committee application says you're going to agree to use some of this because it, it's just such good information. And our website is clunky, and I don't wanna pay $30,000 for a website when we have OpenGov that has the ability to do the same thing. And our website really just begins to act as a repository where we can keep documents and link them as opposed to making, making it nice and dynamic because this is already doing just that in a much yeah. neater format. Well, it's much more uh, open, you can interactive with with what you're doing, yeah. 
So very good, very good. Okay, thank you. And pass on to Matt all the good work and such. Okay. You, you, right. you guys are being recorded. When he does the minutes, he'll he'll hear it. <laughs> okay, good deal. Okay, number eight. Discussion and possible action on a volunteer appreciation proposal to be recommended to city council. Okay, this already was recommended. Um, a proposal for $2,500 was reviewed and approved by the council so that um, what we have to do is we come back to the council just to keep them abreast of what we are doing and how we want to do it. One of the things that uh, we couldn't talk about last month because we didn't have a, a quorum was to be able to say, volunteers, it's been a wacky year. You've done a lot of work. Every committee has had stressors, and yet we've made it through the year 2019 to 2020, and we want to be able to say thank you for all the good work that's been done. So we kind of, um, being community part of it, um, as were granted the, um, probably the, the honor of serving as this committee. And so what we want to do is talk about what do we want to do? How do we want to do it? And how do we want to be at multiple levels saying thank you to all the people who have volunteered in this past year? Now, I've had conversation with a number of different people, and the floor is open to different ideas. But um, Wanda had, and is Wanda on yet? No. No, she's not on yet. Okay. She was going to try and jump on as well. Phil and I had talked, and as Phil was kind of filling me in for his um, council liaison report, he said, by the way, Penny, Wanda had some really good ideas for this volunteer appreciation program. And I said, well, shoot, I can just give her a call and then bring it to the committee this evening. So um, I was on the phone with her quite a bit today, and Sylvia and I talked a little bit about this as well. I had some ideas about having a... Uh, a drop in for people say be on an afternoon uh, from three to five or five to seven have a little bit of an appetizer or a cake and the gift that was given out to each person to look at some way to uh, memorialize this event and in, in saying thank you is to have a big sign that said um, thank you volunteers Sunset Valley 2019-2020 and then as everybody picks up their little gift and gets their goodies, they can sign something on that sheet. And then we put it up in City Hall, over in Public Works, wherever we feel is appropriate, and um, have uh, a way to put it on the newsletter, put it on our website, put it on the OpenGov site, you know, all of these places that people can see it. So that was my first idea. I thought, you know, there's a possibility for a number of gifts. Well, Wanda and I talked and she had some, some or a great idea. What her thought was is whenever, and Sylvia, you should remember this, I'm guessing, uh, because you probably were part of the group that got them. Um, they got a fleece jacket and it had the logo of Sunset Valley on it. And everybody, um, Rudy said she likes it. Phil said he actually wears it as well. Um, uh, Wanda said she uses it all the time. The one thing she would recommend is that it had a hoodie on it with a zipper down the front so you don't have to put it over your head. But, you know, again, it would be some way where we could all say thank you very specifically. It identifies Sunset Valley. And then number three, if somebody's wearing it out somewhere and they run into somebody else, the conversation gets started. You're from Sunset Valley. What did you do? Oh, I was a volunteer. Again, good, good things to promote volunteerism and to recognize our volunteers. Well, okay, step two, when I was speaking with Wanda, her idea was, well, how are you going to do this when you can only have 10 people together? My thought was, if it's a drop-in, you know, you're not going to have more than 10 people at any one time. She came up with a, a really interesting concept. If we wanted to do it kind of in three phases, have one, have people show up, go over to the um, area in the police station, what's that briefing room, whatever that is, that big room, 
and people would then maybe do one face, get their little goodies. And yeah, then in go the ELC. Mm -hmm. ELC, yes, thank you. And then move from there over, and again, having it in three different locations is going to give us the opportunity to have more people and we can have the chairman for the different committees, the council be there, some staff to help and we're not going over the number of people that we can have. Um, number two would be to come to City Hall and possibly uh, get their gift and um, then number three would be go to the third site which would be Public Works and sign the big um, banner. And my thought was, after you and I talked, Sylvia, that we have those big ba um, sheets that they use for maps. We could actually have them in multiple places and people could sign them. And so we'd have mm -hmm. almost a memorial kind of thing. We'd take pictures, we'd put it, post it everywhere we can, possibly mm -hmm. get it, maybe even get Nick to come over from a Community Impact to do a little article on it, volunteerism. And I, I know that there's a volunteer appreciation time of the year. I think it's in January, February. I'm not sure on that one, but we might wanna find that out and see if we can tie it into that. So, okay, that's, that's the penny perception of this thing. What I'd like to do is open it up to the committee for ideas, because I see we've got Sasha here from, you know, the Arts Commission, and you guys have some neat ideas for different things. And everybody on the committee themselves have great ideas. So if you would, um, Sylvia, maybe I'll let you just control the need to speak hands up thing so okay. that we can get input from everybody. Okay, Ruth, you're self-muted. I'm, I'm not on the committee, I was gonna be picked last, but um, I wanted to tell you all about what, um, uh, what our, our church had done for Mother's Day and Father's Day since we weren't meeting in person and church was an online thing. Um, because they were real concerned about people who might be fragile and all, they didn't want any, anyone to come into a building. So what they did was they turned the church entry drive and exit drive into a big circle. And as people arrived, um, if mothers arrived on Mother's Day and this was Father's Day too, um, there was a crew welcoming them and waving and having thank you signs. And then they went to the first stop and got a gift. They went to the second stop and got a packaged dessert. And then at the third stop, there was like a photo booth, but they could stay in their car or they could just step out of their car. And it was just huh. a banner above it that said, um, we love our volunteers or something. I forget. We love our mothers. That was Mother's Day, but you could do volunteers. But And so, and then the final is they went out the exit. There was another group of, church staff, you know, waving streamers and holding signs that say, love you moms and appreciate you. And <laughs> same, same idea for Father's Day. So nobody got exposed to food. It was all prepackaged gift food. It was right. a prepack. They got a, a really pretty insulated mug with a lid. Um, one of those steel ones, you know, and uh, I actually look at it as a stemless wine glass, but anyway, <laughs> keep my Chardonnay too. So it was, it was a drive through. It was, you know, it felt like a parade because there was, you know, both Mother's Day and Father's Day as you entered this festive entrance with people waving signs and streamers, and then you went to the first stop and were handed into your car a baggie inside was your gift. The next one you're handing in your car, another paper baggie. They're pretty, you know, and it had a little dessert in it. And the third one was you drove up and you could stay in your car and just roll the windows down and wave at the camera. And they took a photo booth picture of you, or if you want, you could step out of your car and, and, and just be underneath the big, they had bought a, um, a balloon rainbow you know what that you know what i'm talking about where they take the balloons on a cable and it's a big archway oh, and they had okay. a, and they had okay. yeah and they had a sign hanging on it so they had this picture of just them and it says you know we appreciate our moms and then on the way out in the exit again there was the fanfare of streamers and signs and that way nobody was exposed to anything and all the food was sealed and all the gifts were sealed and and, and Neat idea. Yeah. you know because i just don't know how people I mean, Joe has a heart, has two different heart conditions and I have asthma. So I'm not crazy about going into buildings unnecessarily. I get my groceries delivered and everything like that. So um, I'm just considering all the variety of needs among our volunteers for being safe from a, of a contagious okay. disease. So that's just what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, no, thank you. I think we have lots of opportunity with ideas here. And perhaps even tying something there 
and instead of having three different sites where people would go in, have just one area where if one chooses to, they could sign a banner. I, I like that multiple levels of appreciation on both sides of it. So yeah, that's good. That's another keep, completely Keep in clear. mind that signing a banner means you're going to pick up a pen with your hand that other people have picked right. up. We thought well, about it. And we said down. you pick up a banner, or I mean a pen, a marker pen, and the dollar store has those big packages. It's yours forever. Yes, you yours sign forever. it, you take it. <laughs> so, and you pick the color you want. That's the good piece. So, yeah, we did think about that as well. So, so we thank have you, the Ruth. Yeah. On the campus Excellent. to Thanks. do that. We, we absolutely have the ability on the campus to keep it all outdoors. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. it could be weather dependent, but. Um, we have the um, circle. the covered area right, you know, right in front of City Hall, walking toward um, Public Works. This whole front area is, you know, we can set it up. It could very well be a drive-through because we have the circular drive that makes it very easy mm -hmm. and, and pre-packaged stuff, very yeah. easy. And if folks just want to stay in their car, we have um, um, photo filters that we can do that has, you know, once we take the picture, we apply the photo filter and then send that out what um what we used to do at my prior city the economic development corporation would host a dinner and then they'd hire a photographer to come and take pictures you know throughout the event and then everybody got a um zip file of that so and it, it made like a digital photo book kind of thing oh neat okay that's another additional level Ooh, i like that yeah. ours were yeah. ours were posted on the church yeah. website um and we were all emailed a little code so we can go look at that page because mm. the page was blocked without the code and then we got to see everybody's pictures mm -hmm. we could download mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. ones we wanted it was mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. very good very good okay how about the rest of you i do we have more hands up no other hands up Oh, come on, guys. We have to be creative here. How about some ideas? I think we've got some neat ideas for how to do this. What about things we want to give the people? We want it to be something that's going to be usable. I don't know how many T-shirts I have. I've got a whole drawer of T-shirts I'll never use. They go, you know, the way of all good T-shirts. But something that people will use, be remembered uh, when they put it on that this is something they did. Yeah. <laughs> I love my steel insulated mug. If you guys have any of those, I use those all the time. <laughs> okay. Karen? Uh, hi. I, this is Karen, and I love the idea of the jackets, the fleece, because volunteers are proud of our city. What a way to advertise it. I like the idea of making the circle also okay uh, good good so I we're kind of leaning in that yeah go ahead i'm sorry and, and we have lots of places we could get a gift eat our um the cookie place crop could be one that would be in a little bad box already yeah mm -hmm. and they um, can package them nicely yeah because mm -hmm. they have the size for catering yes yeah they do and they're very much willing whenever we were working on trying to recognize the different vendors per month, whenever Ross's idea of, you know, how many people visit and, you know, that sort of thing, he was just so excited about being able to be a part of that, that he said, anything I can do. So I think that's a great idea. So, yeah, thank you, Karen. Mm -hmm. Now, what we would end up doing, and this is something I, I like the idea of with a jacket or, you know, whatever we do, and you have to respond. I want people that we're going to send out, uh, save the date, and then an RSVP on the actual invitation so we have it. And that's where I answer on this question of what about a you know jacket size because that would have to vary. And you just put what size would you like, and we have a list of the sizes. We choose the color because I think we'd all need to be one. And we could actually even use one of our own, the, um, the uh, frog place that we could have them do the engraving. That's a possibility as well. So again, using our own vendors to promote mm -hmm. Sunset Valley. Good mm -hmm. ideas, good ideas. Okay, That's how right. about every, oh. The, the council's uh, hoodies or the council's um, fleece jackets are, they're like a charcoal gray and the, the city logo stands out really well. Nice, okay, good, good. Penny, 
Yes, yes, Sandy. It's, it, okay, I have a vest from Sunset Valley uh, that Carolyn, when we did a cleanup thing one time, and people just love it, and it's so great. But it's it's just the gray vest with the logo on it, and it's great. Okay, so that's another good idea to to somebody, and and that's something we'd all use too. So good, good. Okay, thoughts. Everybody else. You don't be talk now. It's all over. Yes, Ruth. I love the jacket idea. And in addition, the in the line of economic development, I'm wondering if the little gift bag could include in it some coupons to our stores and restaurants in order to encourage right. frequenting our businesses and give sure. people like if it was like buy one entree, get one free. Um, that would be really cool because then you know the couple could go out and one of them could eat free, but yet the business got money and then we got us to circulate. You know, yeah. Our oh, businesses. great idea. Good one. Good one. Okay, Sylvia, I know you're taking notes, so I'm not worried. I'm yes. just kind of we're all brainstorming. So thank you. No, no, good no, idea. No, that's good. I, I like the um, I I do like the gift card with a you know like a ten dollar uh, gift card to Academy or to the restaurants or whatever because. It's enough to get them there, but they still have to come out of pocket. So, I mean, we're essentially doubling almost whatever we provide as, you know, mm -hmm. the restaurants go uh, yeah. and the businesses go. And we could just do a variety. <laughs> yeah, you could actually have a gift bag full of different things, coupons, mm -hmm. you know, discounts sure. and a cupcake or something from. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. Any other insight? Because this is going to get itself firmed up and go back Clayton. to. Oh. Clayton has his hand up. Oh, okay. Clayton? Yeah, I'm just going to mirror the, the, the comments made earlier. And I, I think a couple of key things, you know, oh, I've got t shirts I can't even use, don't use. I'm not a fan of the t shirts. I do like the idea of the, of the jacket where you can advertise, you know, the city. Um, I also like the whole idea of the, the coffee mug thing. I think any of them are, are good. Um, it's just what everyone feels comfortable doing. Okay. Thank you, Clayton. Other responses, other comments? Okay. I guess then the next thing would be... Um, we need to, and, and I, when I was talking to Wanda, and clarify this for me, Sylvia and Phil, she said she understood it to be approved and we just had to update and let the council know what we're doing. According to this, and maybe this was because we didn't have the ability to vote on it last month because we didn't have a quorum, it says, you know, um, adoption, we as a committee need to say this is what we want to do. Correct? Correct, and then we just Correct. we just move on down the road. So okay, uh, Penny, 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 this is Phil. I I would agree yeah. with Wanda on that. I think the amount of the expenditure has been approved. I think you folks have to decide how you're going to spend it. Right, right. Okay. So um, there are 78 uh, volunteers right now among all of the boards and commissions. I just counted them all. Okay, and that includes the council. Yes. Okay. 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 Very good. That's so, about thirty-two dollars a volunteer that we have able to spend, um, and the jackets themselves. When we bought them for council, I believe the jackets are eighteen or nineteen dollars, something like that. So that that does leave the ability for, um, like a uh, a gift card, a cupcake, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that it would be really neat, the Crumble Cookies place, to be able to do them. And they have, uh, I've got one of their little coupon, not coupons, but uh, brochure things on here. And they have a box of four cookies for ten ninety eight. Mm -hmm. And they for, are delicious. Uh, they are. They're wonderful. <laughs> I, got, I got some when we had company in, and everybody enjoyed them. They are wonderful. And they want to be a part of things. So I think this would be a good way to publicize them and to, you know, hold up our, our own businesses. So mm -hmm. good stuff. Okay. How about then let's look at, let's get a motion and um, that we want to 
go forward on this, how we want to do it. Can we look at a combination of the two? Because I don't think we're quite ready to firm up whether we want to have it as a drive through, whether we want to have it as a stop and people sign, whether, you know, how we want to do it. Could we get a committee that would be able to say we have the um, authority from the committee to move forward and then bring back to the committee what, you know, we've come with? We'll take everybody's idea and pull them like together. Like a logistics committee? Yeah, logistics. Very good. Very good. Logistics committee. And uh, do I have some volunteers to be on that committee? Don't everybody jump at one time. <laughs> I think Ruth makes an excellent volunteer. <laughs> okay, Ruth. Now, she's not on our committee officially, but, you know, you have been marvelous. Hey, at wait so a minute. Be... <laughs> <laughs> I said you've been marvelous, okay? Can, let's, can, let's I go. You, can I give you guys a bit of advice in terms of, like, open meetings things? You might want to call it a work group instead of a committee because yeah. then you it cannot, has different yeah, connotations for what's, yes, exactly. exactly. So you might You're want to call it a logistics right. work group. A logistics work group. I'm, I'm fine with that. I do. I remember that's the key because we cannot have committee meetings and we cannot have subgroup committee meetings. So, yeah. But let's let's go ahead and I saw Karen come on picture wise. Karen, are you volunteering or am I volunteering you? <laughs> Both. <laughs> she's she's being voluntold. <laughs> oh, uh, now you have the choice, my dear. I know okay. but I love that kind of thing, so yes. Okay, very good. How about do we have somebody else that might be interested in doing this? Come on, folks. Okay. I will obviously help with whatever. Right. And I'm I'm there to help with it as well. And I do know and I I when Wanda and I talked, she said she'd come on, you know, hopefully, you know, about seven because I didn't know how long we would be meeting, but I'm sure she would be great as an asset and uh Phil has always been there to support us. So let's move forward with that if that's okay with you, Phil. Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay. Thank you. And yes. We, 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 Penny, we have to do something nice for these volunteers. This is the backbone of this city. They yes. allow us to do a lot of things. And if it wasn't for them, we, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things we do. So absolutely, we need to take care of these folks. Absolutely. And recognize them. Yep, yep. I, I agree. A, uh, Go ahead. Which committee, I mean, new committees come on in December? And so it's usually January and February. What com which committee would be in charge of it? This is CED. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and hopefully we um, get this situated so that it happens sooner rather than later as the committees are leaving their post into, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree because this is, this has been a crazy, crazy year, and so much has happened, and it's been a lot of work on everybody's part. <laughs> the thing. So, okay, very good. All right, let's just say this will be the committee, and let's see, Karen on the list. Uh, I will help with it. Phil will help with it. Um, let's see. Karen, Ruth, Ruth Wanda, Wanda, Penny, Phil is who I have. Okay, very good. We're good on that one. And um, everybody can be unofficial members of this work group. And so we can call on you if, if somebody has an idea and we <laughs> need to draw in another person. Is everyone good with that? Yes? Yes. All those in favor, yes? Yes. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna eyeball everybody. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very good, thank you. I mean, it, it has it has been tough sometimes, I know that. Okay, so what we need is a motion from someone, because I, um, as chairman, I can't make that motion. I just kind of gave the concept. Can Mrs. Clayton, I'll make the motion. Okay, thank you, Clayton. A motion to proceed with the volunteer appreciation event. How's that sound? With the committee leading it and all members on CED as unofficial. Uh, work group members. 
Is that okay, Ruth? Okay. I'm not a member of the committee. You do what y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. A second to that motion. We've got a first by Clayton. Second. A second, Sandy. Okay, Sandy, second. Any comments, friendly amendments, or ideas? Okay. If not, I call for the vote. All those in favor, aye. 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 Okay. All those opposed, likewise? The motion is carried. Thank you, everybody. That was that was something that's dear and near to my heart. So anyway. Okay. Uh, with that, I have uh, the honor of saying our next meeting is due the 2nd of December, which is the first Wednesday of the month at 6 p.m., what I would like to do, and I'm still trying to figure out how to do this, I would like to do a little something for our committee, CED, uh, to say thank you for all the hard work that you guys have done this year. It's been tremendous. Everybody's pulled hard, hard, hard and made a lot of efforts. And so I'd like to do that. So be um, on the lookout for something coming out. If not, um, we will have our official meeting. I was originally going to just do a social event, but with COVID, it's a little bit less, uh, it's more tenuous. So I'm not sure what we can do or not do. So anyway, any other comments or any other things that we would like to have said? Because we really can't put anything else on our agenda. I just if would not, like to thank you. I would like to thank you, Penny, for all of your hard work in keeping us together. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, Penny, I, it's, it, it's Phil. I, I would like to thank you and all of you on CD for the incredible job you do, uh, the professionalism in which you carry it out, the enthusiasm, and you are a credit. You are a credit. All of you are a credit to this great city of ours, and I thank you. I really do. Thank you. Oh, and so, you, Phil, Bill. for you, since this is going to be your last CED meeting outgoing as a council member, thank you for the support that you've provided CED yes. and some myself. Oh. oh, well, thank you. It, 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 thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate very much. You've been there for all of us, for me personally <laughs> and for all of us. So thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. It really is. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. If there is nothing else that we need to discuss. I would like to have a motion to adjourn. And now I want you all to know move. this is record time. It is, you know, we're doing pretty good. And was that Sandy that I heard the motion? Yes. Okay. Motion to adjourn by Sandy. Second, please. Ms. Clayton, second. Clayton seconded. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, likewise. Okay, thank you everybody for everything you've done. Appreciate it a thank lot. You. Sylvia, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Penny. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.